Hello dear viewers, today I'm going to be talking about Turkey's response to the conflict in between Israel and Palestine. Let's begin. Hello and welcome to Global Nationalism. I support nationalism in my country, in my country, India, and in India, and in all countries around the globe. Today I'm going to be talking about the country of Turkey, a country nationalism Today I'm going to be talking about nationalism in the country outside of South Asia. That country for today is Turkey. Uh, President Erdogan has spoken against Israel's uh, conf actions in Gaza in this current conflict. And so I wanted to look at how Turkey has reacted to this and how Turkey's relations with Israel have been throughout history and to see try to figure out what might happen in the future and what could be the best policy for Turkey in this uh, current conflict. Let's begin. Let's get started. Turkey and Israel relations. Turkey is a secular state officially <coughs> and Israel is a Jewish state. However, Turkey is also a Muslim majority state where the religion of Islam plays a major role in its politics and so it has had a complicated relationship with Israel while it is Islamic and their uh, majority and so has sympathies with the Palestinian cause. Because it's secular, it has not uh, been as anti-Semitic as other officially Muslim countries are. So, yeah, it's interesting to see how its policy is changing in the current era. Nineteen forties to fifties. These were the prime ministers of Israel on the left and the prime minister of Turkey on the right. They were in office during the 50s. Turkey recognized Israel in 49, its first diplomatic mission. In Israel was established in 1950. And Israeli Prime Minister David Ben Gurion and the Turkish Prime Minister Adnan Menderes discussed a peripheral pact in the late 50s. Uh, these are two prime ministers I showed in that previous slide. They basically said that they would share intelligence, do public relations works together, and have a somewhat uh, working relationship. The 1960s to 1990s. These are, this is a picture from the Six Days War, which erupted in 1960s. Turkey condemned Israel's annexation of Palestinian lands in the Six Days War. In the Six Days War in 1967, Israel and several Arab countries, including Palestine, waged war, which Israel won. And Israel took over some Palestinian territory and Turkey condemned the annexation. However, it did not view Israel as an aggressor in a statement given out by uh, Islamic countries. Israel, uh, Turkey did not agree with them that Israel is an aggressor, simply condemned Israel's annexation. So it was a somewhat of a neutral position. In 92, Turkey appointed an ambassador to Israel. This shows that Turkey was willing to work with Israel in the 90s and that there was some improvement in relations. Two thousands to now, this is Erdogan, the current president of Turkey.
In 2005, Erdogan visited Israel for peace talks. This shows he started his presidency in a positive light with respect to Israel. But Erdogan lowered relations due to Gaza wars in 2008 and 2014 when Israel was bombing Gaza. Then reconciliation happened when the reconciliation agreement in 2016 was signed. Erdogan says that Hamas are not terrorists in uh, this year, 2023. What this shows is that Turkey's uh, view of Israel has changed and flowed throughout the decades and that at first it was uh, secular uh, cooperative with Israel but and somewhat maintained a bit more of a working relationship with Israel than other Muslim majority countries but in the current era that is pretty much gone especially with the current conflict where President Erdogan in a speech a public speech said that his country his government would condemn Israel as a war criminal and called on them to stop bombing Gaza. I can understand that Muslims in Turkey are angry with Israel and want Israel to stop killing innocent Palestinian civilians, which they are, but they, Erdogan has to be honest with the Turkish people that the Civilians being killed by Israel are being killed because Hamas is using them as human shields. This has been documented uh, heavily by various sources. And so they shouldn't be viewing Palestine as a victim but more of Israel, but more as a victim of Hamas, which prevents any peace from growing between the two countries or two regions or states or whatever you want to word you want to refer to them as so if he said that if he was honest people would be less angry with israel but i do agree that israel should be trying to uh find some negotiation with the palestinian people the palestinian authorities rather than Hamas to try to aim for some peaceful resolution, but at, at the same time, they must uh, eliminate Hamas. Hamas is a terrorist organization which must be defeated by Israel. But I don't like how Israel is bringing in other countries like the United States and Europe into the conflict. It is its own conflict. It has to do with it itself. And Turkey should not get involved on Gaza's side. Turkey has to manage its own affairs. What happens in Gaza is not Turkey's responsibility. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Please share your thoughts in the comment section. If you want to see other videos about nationalism in countries outside South Asia, click here. If you want to see my previous video, click here. If you want to see the sources I use for this video, click the links in the description below. Thank you for watching. Bande Matana.